And he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Listen, he said, Lord, I am not saying I will not follow you. But first, suffer me first. The word first. Jesus will never take the second place in your life. Hello? He will never take the second place. <laughs> That's one thing with Jesus. You can't give him the leftover of your life. The residue of your life, he doesn't need it. He needs the whole of your life. Don't be like some people who will say that they will have, they will enjoy their life to the fullest when they are getting to 70. That's when they will not be serious. They think that God is to be like them. Say, but he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, let the dead bury their dead. By implication, your dad is dead. Even his relation, they are all dead. Why I call you? Is because you are mine before the foundation of the world. Let the dead bury their dead. Your dad is a drunk and he died. And you now say you want to give him befitting burial. And here you were. When he was a drunk, you didn't send anything to him. And you know because you want to do business with your father's burial. You know you know we do business with our father's burial. You will now throw party. And you'll be, you be inviting dignitaries. Because you want to make money. Greedy dog. Jesus said. Let the dead bury their dead. But <laughs> go thou and preach the kingdom of God. This narrow path will not permit looking back to attend to family ties. Ah, you don't understand. That man is my father. Ah, ah, he did wonderful. He did one. He sent me to school. He sent me to school. I must do it. I must do it. That one didn't agree with Jesus. He agreed. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee. But let me first. Now, mark the award first. As you are sitting here, there is something first in your heart. And it is not Christ. There is something first in your heart. And it is not Christ. I need to tell you, you are, you are here to start following Jesus. You are here to start. They were all saved. But let me first, after I have done what I wanted. Aha, the remaining things. And the remaining days. Then I can follow you. This, this one, he was not even saying that I want to bury my daddy. I just want to be him fearware, <laughs> which are to at my house. And Jesus said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow. Because Jesus knew, if he allowed him to go back to see fear, when his dad or his mom say, so mommy, so mommy, come. <laughs> if the woman has a way, she will grip you. By the time she bursts into cry, self-pity will overwhelm you and you will forget about your decision to follow Jesus. Jesus knew, that's a terrible distraction. To him, no man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Jo Join us on Splash FM for Harvest Time by 6.15 to 6.30 a.m. every Saturday, starting from the 1st of January 2022, as God's servant, Joseph Okwola, will be opening your eyes to God's provision of salvation for you from the word of God. Your harvest time has come. Don't miss it.